Chef Diane DeMeo and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are making something super wonderful. What is it? It's a vegan raw live dish. What does that mean? That means that I'm not cooking, I'm not cooking, and I'm not cooking. It means that I am just taking vegetables, cutting them up, and making a wonderful dish. And what dish is that? I am making a zucchini pasta with an alakeka, which means tomato, basil, garlic, and oil, and Parmesan made from pistachio nuts. Ooh. I was inspired to make this dish by Fully Raw Christina, who's completely vegan and raw on live food. And something I don't normally do, but I have to say, this is gonna be super tasty. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to do something a little strange. I'm gonna get my tomatoes ready, but we want some of the juice. So I'm just going to squeeze it out. Uh, why am I doing this? I'll tell you why. Because I'm gonna coat my zucchini with this. And besides, when I make my alacaca, I don't really want the seeds or the juice, I just want the flesh of the tomato. All right, so I'm gonna set this aside. And I do my alacaca first, why? Because you want it to sit and meld with the flavors of the garlic and basil. And if you're not into doing raw live food, that's fine, because you can use the same sauce, the alacaca, for regular pasta. This doesn't have to be zucchini. And you can also use it on top of fish and on top of chicken. It would go really, really well. Okay, so I've got my chunks of tomato, and I'm just gonna get them a nice, Choppy. I like to sometimes add heirloom tomatoes to this so you have bright colors. You can do yellow, the purple tomatoes, you can do cherry tomatoes, you can do any type of tomatoes that you want. And in the summertime, why not use the special delicious heirloom tomatoes? Okay, just gonna do a couple more. And that's that. And now I'm going to use a little bit of garlic because the key to having a good alacaca is a lot of garlic. You can use a garlic mincer if you want. You can use garlic paste. Do not use store garlic. It's the worst. Okay, in that goes. And fresh basil. I like a lot of basil, so you don't have to use as much as I do, but it gives flavor, and especially when you're doing a raw vegan dish, why not use a lot, right? In that goes, I'm gonna add a little salt. I use canola oil, you can use olive oil, whatever you choose. And that's it. Now all we do is set this aside to let sit and develop its flavors. Next is preparing our pasta. The key here is to try to get it to resemble pasta. Very easy. So it just comes out like little strands. It's pretty any pasta. So this is the last piece of zucchini I'm gonna cut into the bowl it goes. So now I have a bowl of my mostly finely cut zucchini pasta. And what I'm going to do is the juice that I extracted from those tomatoes, I'm gonna to pour right in here so it gives it some extra added flavor and just a tad bit of salt. There it is, right there. Additionally, I'm gonna put in a little bit of my Parmesan made from pistachios start to give that flavor a little more and about one or two spoonfuls of the alakeka toss it through and now I'm about to plate this delicious zucchini pasta let me get a plate This is my zucchini pasta with my alacaca and don't forget, you gotta top it off with my pistachio parmesan. 
and we are ready to go and taste this. And don't forget to check out my bootleg tip, how to make your Parmesan from pistachio bags. All right, here we go. Holy heck it up. This is actually really good. Fully Rockasina, you have made a believer out of me. Check it out, try this, and check out Fully Rockasina. She has some amazing vegan live dishes, and you're gonna love to make those, and I will see you next week with another delicious dish. Ciao. Hello, I am Chef Diane DeMeo, and welcome to Bootleg Tips. Today we are doing something very, very simple, but very tasty, which means that I am making a Parmesan, like Parmesan, from pistachio nuts.